Good morning, this is a updated video for the week beginning the 25th of September 2023. The euro, as you can see, has been dumped quite dramatically. Uh, we've come all the way up from uh, 178,000 and we're at 101 and the dollar's ticking up. So we're going to probably get the, the euro USD uh, sell once we get that crossover. So be careful and we are very far away from the 52 week low. So if you think, you know, we, we can't go any lower, we can. So be careful because if we get the crossover, that's going to be quite uh, quite a convincing sell for the EU. Okay, so uh, we were tracking sideways, dumped a little bit, and now we're ticking high on the dollar. So I think there's going to be a little bit of pain still left uh, for the euro, potentially. So you've got to be careful. Uh, let's add the yen and tick that. Uh, yen's are sideways for just chopping and consolidating. We still want that support to hold. Breaks that is going to get ugly, okay? So that's the euro taken care of. We'll look at Aussie. Quite scary. Aussie is dumped quite dramatically. Uh, that's a big difference. 79, 96. Wow. So the net non comms, the banks and institutions have sold the Aussie, okay? So um, bear that in mind. Aussie off, pound on. Now I think this is, yeah, see this was the channel, if you remember, and I was suspecting we were going to have a break for that channel. See the lower low, uh, the lower low and the lower high. Can you see? And then we inevitably broke that channel and we're going to get the GU, the pound USD sell signal. Probably, uh, might, might not be on Friday, it could be next Monday. And we're we going to get the crossover. So the dollar is ticking high and the pound is falling. We're going to get the cable sell. All right. So uh, perhaps it might not be this week. It could be the following week. But I think inevitably we're going to get the crossover and it's going to get fairly ugly for uh, the sterling. Okay. Against the USD. Uh, pound off. Get on. CAD got dumped as well. <laughs> It's a bit crazy, isn't it? So um, there's the dollar CAD uh, potential setup there, but invalidated because we crossed down. And so there isn't anything there. We just see weakness in the CAD, strength in the USD, chopping on the yen currently. Uh, CAD off, gold on. And we're just sideways. We had the support, uh, which I thought might happen. We did. And there isn't anything to be said here. So if we did break that support, it'd probably be perhaps a sell to these supports. But we've currently got that support and we've currently got that resistance. Um, so gold might be tricky this week, I think. Gold off and then we can look at the New Zealand dollar. It was moving a little bit and it has moved quite a bit. So this is the lowest it's been for a while. I uh, have to go back to 2022. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's been dumped and the dollar is surging higher. And then lastly, we look at the Swiss franc and um, and we decide sideways. So just a, just a quick reminder that you can look at any permutation on here because this tool is yours if you subscribe to the QuasiDB service. This is your document for a week until the new document gets released uh, the following week, okay? And uh, you can look at any permutation and also not just the currency pair, but you can look at hedge funds, you can look at the commercials which is like the main street this is the wall street non comms so you can look at the comms which are main street so it's there's still worth looking at the hedge funds obviously worth looking at and uh, we've also got a delta tab at the very end where uh, Krishnan's given us a summary of what's um, what's happened from the week prior and uh, that's it so lots of good information uh, hey good useful information and uh, hopefully it becomes uh, useful for you in your trading week ahead. I'm going to be focusing on the robot this week because we had an extraordinarily successful week last week and I would like that to continue. So I'm going to be monitoring and making notes on the robot and that's it. So remember to trade safely and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow.